Howdy everyone, welcome to today's video. We're with a defender on Himmelsdorf. You may have noticed it's a tier 10 game, so it's uh, not gonna be the, you know, the ideal condition for us to fight with a TA tank, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's armor tanks, I guess, on the enemy team, so I decided for that reason to go up the hill and not go on the 8 line. The turret of the defender is not, uh, it's strong feature, so I won't really risk going cool down on the eight line. So I'm gonna go up the hill instead and hopefully fight against um, medium tanks and whatever the game might throw at us. It's mainly because I knew, like, on the eight line, there's gonna be a Type 5 heavy, and if he's got the derp gun with high explosive, there's not gonna be anything I can do against him. So, yeah, you know, just broken tank and gets broken tank. <laughs> okay, well. We'll just go and then go and then go. You notice this? Not the slowest tank, actually. I'm faster than E4 uphill. Not bad. Eh. And I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of catching up to the pattern too. Okay, there's a 50 V up the hill. That's gonna make it super hard to actually advance. I'm just gonna stay here and wait until he goes back, because otherwise, there's uh, well, I would get clipped by him, and I definitely don't want to do that. And yeah, he's gonna smack the pattern once. He's got three shells left. Oh, another outloader. This is getting stinky right now. At least Batshat and some other tanks managed to get up there because they were faster. Oh, and another outloader. Great. And there's no way I can climb up because I'm gonna get clipped <laughs> by the three guys. But luckily, the Emils are going around. So I just need ex an excuse now for the for the 50B to not look at me. And somehow I managed to pen my turret at that super weird angle. I really don't know what that was. Maybe the shell went under the turret. No idea. But thing is, he uh, he finished clipping, so we can go up now. I need to smack this Emil real quick. Hello. I even got a D track. Nice, <laughs> instant 900 assist damage from there. And we need to push these guys back. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the IS3 for now because the Emiliano is gonna be reloading soon. So, uh, yeah, I think he shot a couple of shots by now. Can I get a kill on the IS-3 or not? I think the Badger might get him. Okay, I'm gonna go on the lower side real quick. It's not very smart to stay on the top here, because they can shoot you from the bottom. But as it is, if you go on the lower side like this, it's very hard for them to shoot you, and you might actually get to do some damage. From this angle, I should be able to pin the Defender, but... Uh, you know how armor works. I, I'm not sure that in this game, uh, armor is designed very well when you're shooting at it from from angles. Because every time I try to shoot a tank that doesn't have a lot of base armor, but it's mostly made out of angles from the top, I bounce a lot. I don't know why. Even though, like from the angle I'm shooting, they should have no armor whatsoever. I'm not sure it's it's very well designed in that department. Because it had ha it has happened to me a lot of times to uh, to shoot from really good angles and just to bounce, so and it's gonna be hard to pin on defender. That's for sure. I'm probably just gonna try to go for the rhyme metal instead, you know, just because uh, balanced armor. Blah, blah. Yeah, we got like uh, what 2.7k combined. So now we need some more. And I need to smack this defender somehow. I think I'm just gonna blind shoot for the Rhyme Metal. Rhyme Metal's gotta be close to him. Because he keeps shooting me. And I went went back here so I can uh, just speak with my turret a little bit. Don't have to expose myself too much, but this batch is gonna die if he stays there. Yeah, good job, Batchet. Good job. I think somebody was shooting high explosive, that's why he's not dead yet. This game looks kinda lost though. I don't know if he can win. No idea. And Ryan Ali yeah, is he shooting high explosive. That's the sole reason why the Batchet didn't die. I wanted V-Kick to go around so I can get a side shot. But unfortunately, nah. I can't really shoot him. I guess we're gonna keep going for the Ryan Metal if I can. Yes, sir. Uh, the Defender doesn't have the best V range, so the Ryan Metal can just stay super far away there. Just outside of my V range and shoot and I'm not gonna spot him so I gotta move I need to go in and try to do something else try to get some more damage because uh, need the gun marks on this tank right that's what it is 
And right now the enemy tanks are uh, trying to push towards my base. So if I'm lucky I could get some nice uh, side shots from here. Sure thing. I'm not gonna pen a VK though, so I'm gonna go for the IS-3. I even got gold loaded, so there we go. <laughs> nice 492, not bad. I'm gonna try to go for him again. Yep, VK still not looking at me. And the IS-3 is still outside, so I can get him now. Hello, hello. There we go, nice. Not the 4 Honda. Got some decent damage now. And I need to watch out for this VK because I think that a tiny part of my... Uh, tiny part of my um, side is exposed. I was trying to go for the engine deck of the VK there, but I don't think that would work. I'm not sure how armored it is. I guess I can go for the top of the turret, but we ain't gonna go for nothing because he managed to hit the pixel shot on my uh, engine deck and he set me on fire. Pretty much. Feels bad, man. But we did manage to get three, three point... 6k combined, so that shouldn't be too bad, right? We're just gonna wait until the team finishes cleaning up the, the rest of the enemies, and we'll be good to go. Come on, Batty! Kill him, Batty! The viewers are waiting, Batty! Well, I'm just gonna go and uh, show the results. They're gonna kill the Rhymel in the meantime. Okay, so it's definitely not the most exciting game out there, that's for sure. But we got the job done. We got the three gun marks, we got 96k credits, 2,974 XP. We had some boosters on. We ended up the game with 2,654 damage, which means we got a blind shot on Rhyme Metal. One kill, 991 base XP. We even managed to scrap 1,401 assist damage. And we made 38k, almost 39k profit in the end. I did shot a couple of APCR shells, but uh, we still made a profit in the end, no problemo. Like I said, not the most exciting game. We got a job done though. For the people who want to hunt gun marks on this uh, tank, I gotta tell you right now, you need around 3k plus to get the 3 marks on this tank. 3k, maybe 3.2k. I'm pretty sure the values are gonna decrease. But uh, that's what I kind of had to deal with when I was grinding the gun marks. So be prepared for some 3k plus damage plus assist combined if you want the mark Reno's. For everybody else, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you again for watching and goodbye.